Hi, my name is Gail Lewis, and I would like to welcome you to another Make Art Monday, which is sponsored by the Arts Council of the Southern Finger Lakes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can make some beautiful spring flowers out of simple materials, which are included in your packet. So in your packet, you'll have the instructions on how to do this. Um, you will all have a paper ruler, which if you have a regular ruler, you can use that, but I wasn't sure if you'd have one. There will be a glue stick in your packet there will be a toilet paper tube, and there should be some um, little flower petals that I already cut from a tube, just in case you didn't have any scissors with you today. Also included in your kit is some watercolor and a couple of jewels. So, the other things you will need is you will need to find yourself a pair of scissors or a grown-up who can help you cut the paper towel, paper, toilet paper tubes, sorry. Um, you will need a little water for your watercolors, and you'll need a pencil or a pen or a marker to mark your toilet paper tubes. So let's get started. I'm going to clear out this workspace a little bit so that the first thing I will be doing is cutting some more of these. I'll put everything else to the side for now. So what you wanna do is take your paper towel tube and with your ruler, um, you make markings at every half inch. Just like that. You know, some of them might be four inches and it'll be exactly right. And some of them might have a little extra, but a half inch is a good width, width for these. So now get your scissors and cut on those little marks to make the little flower petals. If you need help with that, just ask a grown-up. It can be hard to cut through two layers of uh, cardboard. Okay, so now after you do that, we're going to paint these flower petals with our watercolors. So yeah, you all know how to paint, but I'll paint one or two just to show you what we can do here in case you've never used watercolors before. So you wanna get the, the color that you want, get it pretty wet and rub the brush on it. Wet it with your water. Not sure you can see the water here, but there it is. Get that nice and wet. The more you rub it, the darker the color that you get will be. I'm going to use orange. You can use any color you want, or you can use all different colors. So I test it out. Oh, good. That's a good color orange. I might want to rub it a little bit more to make it a little darker. And I'm going to paint the outside of the petal and the inside. Now, just to make it a little darker, I'm going to add a little red to my orange just by going back and forth between the two colors. And I'm going to paint the inside of all of these also. Now what you will have to do is make sure you get these, let these dry. And you can do, um, the flower that we're going to make today is made with five of these. But if you would like to make a bigger flower, you might want to paint a couple extra ones for fun. So that's how you do that and uh, put it aside to dry and paint four more like that or more like I said if you want to make a bigger flower. Now while I'm make, waiting for those to dry um, 
I will show you what we're going to make. This is the one we're going to make today, which is one, two, three, four, five petals. I also put two leaves on there. Or here's another one I made the other day. I decided to make two flowers on that picture. And then I decided to make a bigger flower. So I started with the original flower in the middle and then I just kept adding more and more paper towel um, tubes around the outside. And, and you can do, you can even add more than that to make a really huge flower if you would like to. So while the paper tubes are drying, um, this is your chance to paint the background paper. So as you can see with this one, I actually made the flower first and then I added more color to it. But with this one, I did the background first. So today, I think I'll just get started. And of course, you can stop this at any point. Um, and work on your paper. But I'm gonna to wait to the end to paint my paint paper. So here are some paper towel tubes I painted earlier and they're already dry. So here's what we do next. We wanna put these in the shape of a flower. So we're going to take our glue and put it just on maybe an inch at the bottom of your petal. We'll do that one and we'll do this one. And then we're going to hold it together and this is where it takes a little patience. We wanna hold it together until it dries. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that's sticking pretty good. And then I'll just gently lay it down. And I'm gonna stick two more together. A little glue, like I said, just in about the bottom inch. We'll do that one. And we'll do this one. And stick them together so that the points are, you want the points together and just hold them for a little while and make sure they're sticking good. Now with these, plus your fifth one over there, this is where we make our flower. So we'll form the flower with the petals on our paper and we're going to glue them all together. So we did two at a time here, so we'll take these two and I'll, I think I'll glue them to these two to get started. So again, I put glue down on there, on, on the end by the point, and I'm gonna stick these two pairs of petals together. Make sure they stick together good. You might wanna hold them for a while. Maybe think about some of the signs of spring you've seen this week, cause it's been so lovely outside. Okay, so now we have those four and I'm gonna add the fifth one in. I put glue on both sides of this one. So we rub well, maybe the bottom inch. And you know how it is with glue sticks. You have to use, you have to be very generous with how much glue you use. So now that's gonna round it out there. And I'm gonna hold them all for a little while. Today I saw my first robin in my front yard. I was very excited because as you know, a robin is a sign of spring. So we've got them pretty good here. If you happen to have some white glue at your house, um, that might work a little better holding these together, but it will also take more patience because white glue takes a little bit longer to dry than the this glue stick, which is why I gave you a glue stick in this art kit. 
All right. So we got them all together pretty good. All right. Now, what we want to do is take our glue stick and rub the edges of all the flowers. And you do have to rub it pretty good with the glue stick. Um, because then what we're going to do is, though this one isn't sticking very well, but I didn't hold it long enough. You can hesitate, you can stop the tape and make sure you get yours glued together good. So I'm putting some glue on all of these. We're going to roll it up a little, just on the edges. And especially in the middle. Okay, and when you think you've got it all pretty well glued together, like I said, mine's falling apart because I didn't take the time to let them dry. You take the time. <laughs> it will work better then. Um, we're going to flip it over and glue it onto the page anywhere you want it. Now, what I did is I put a little book on it to weight it down. Like that. All right. So there's your basic flower. I'm gonna put a little glue on. Um, in your kit, there should be some jewels. So here I have a turquoise one and a yellow one. I think I'm gonna use the turquoise one because it's so bright and cheery. So again, we put a little glue on it. And just center it right in the middle of the flower. Just let it sit there and it should dry. Ooh, that one got a lot of glue on it. Let's get some of that off. Don't need that much. Okay. So, now comes the fun part. While it's drying on your paper, you can add some different things to your picture. Uh, you noticed in my other picture, I added a stem on this flower. So this time I think maybe I'll add some vines coming off of it. So it looks like it's growing on a vine. And if you feel like it, you can add another flower to your picture. Remember when you use watercolors, the more you rub the paintbrush on the paint, the darker the color will come out. Now you may notice also in the finished product here that I added some paper tubes um, for leaves. And the way I formed those leaves is I took the paper towel tube and I folded it in at the top to give it a different look and a different shape for a leaf. So there, there's a heart you could do. You could have a heart shaped leaf. Um, oops, the glue came, the glue is sticking to me instead of the flower. Okay, so got some vines. I'm going to add some leaves here. And you can do whatever you want painting the background here. That's the, that's the fun part of this project is you get to do whatever you want I, and just you know, for an added thing, um, if you go online and if you Google toilet paper tubes or paper towel tubes or just paper tubes, you'll find that people make amazing pictures with these tubes. I saw um, a picture of a big, giant fish made with these tubes. Um, and it looked beautiful because... The tubes, when they were all glued together in the shape of the fish, looked like the scales of the fish. So, you know, you can go online and get some other ideas of things to do with these paper towel tubes. But this was the first one I decided to do to show you a simple way to use these. You know, I'm adding some yellow paint into the middle of my flowers to make it a little brighter. If you have um, any tempera paints or acrylic paints at your house, you can make the toilet paper tubes 
a little brighter too um, rather than with watercolor uh, but that's that's always fun so let's add a little some orange in here and maybe a little dab of red there oops need more I need more water on my red. Dried out. Rub, rub those good, and they. Uh, oh, it looks like the red is going to make an orange also. But yeah, so that's that's a good idea. Now you can add some other things. Um, maybe you want to have a bright summer sun shining in the corner. Making that flower grow beautifully. Or maybe you could put a, a ladybug crawling on your flower. So this is your project. And you can make whatever you want. Um, and you can come up with some really good ideas. And like I said, if you go online and Google um, crafts with toilet paper tubes or paper towel tubes you'll come they'll you'll come up with some great great um ideas so that's how it works i hope you have a lot of fun and happy spring <laughs>